You can see I did not drain it, so there is more sauce than usual, and that's how Koreans usually cook their jajangmyeon. They do not really drain the noodles. So I just have to mix this well, and I'll get back to you. Hi guys, welcome back to my channel, and as you can see, we have Jajang Buldak Bohomyeon here or Jajang Fire Noodles and we have Bonchon Spicy Chicken here. Also, we have an egg and the pickled radish Danmuji. Danmuji that they usually eat with Jajang Buldak Bohomyeon or with Jajangmyeon. Okay, so I just want to share with you guys my favorite noodles. This is really my favorite, not sponsored. I just like this and again I'm gonna speak in English because maybe some of my Korean students will be watching this because I'm featuring Korean food um, this is my favorite because I've tried the original Buldak Bokumyon the fire noodles the cheese fire noodles and the carbo fire noodles and they're all very very spicy like you cannot taste anything but spicy but this one is really delicious it's less spicy compared to all the fire noodles that we have in the Philippines and in Korea so I've also saved some hate comments on uh, my YouTube channel so maybe <laughs> I might answer them so we can talk about something while I'm eating right okay so in this vlog I also showed how this should be cooked because this should not be um, drained because it's more delicious with more sauce so I broke the egg the egg yolk and now it became so creamy okay so first bite eat mm. Mm. <gasps> it's so delicious. I really miss this taste because I tried to limit my instant noodles intake because I've been getting sick these days. So I haven't eaten this for a long time. Maybe for a month. That's already a long time. And I'm sorry if I'm if you're hearing some sound. That's the electric fan. It's really hot. The air conditioner is inside the room, so it's hot here in the kitchen. Anyway, now I'm eating with the pickled radish. The mungi. The here. I bought this pickled radish, sliced pickled radish at a nearby, oh my gosh, it's filling, at a nearby Kmart, and it's just 35 pesos. I was so surprised when I saw it, because I don't usually see sliced pickled radish. They're usually the whole one, or the cubes, cubes, anyway. Okay, so I'm gonna start eating chicken while I'm also answering some hate comments or not really hate but I'm gonna answer some negative comments on my YouTube channel. Okay, so the first one here is 
Okay, it's from my Korean Visa vlog. And Nathan Johnson commented, Dami mong sinasabi, next time 5 to 7 minutes lang dapat nakakaanpok. So in English, he's saying that I'm saying too much and that next time I should only vlog for 5 to 7 minutes because he's feeling sleepy. Mm, okay, so I'll, I'll be reading comments that mean almost the same. So I'm just gonna answer one. One answer to all of them. So with Neeb Love X Y O O J commented, Z Z Z Z. So long and nonsense to be honest. Pwede naman magtagalog. Lol. Halatang pilit. And the next one, K Light 2 3. Bakit nagi English? Magpaka natural na te. So in English, she commented, Why are you speaking in English? Just be natural. Just be yourself. Be natural. Something like that. Okay, so to answer that, but I want to bite first. Oh. Mm. I think it is the soy because I ordered two flavors. Soy and spicy. I've always ordered spicy in Bonchan. I've never tried other flavors. Yeah, I think it is soy because it's kind of sweet and it's not spicy at all. Hmm. So it's actually 3.46 p.m. and I haven't eaten lunch yet. But it's okay. Because I didn't do much. Oh, I think I'm productive today. I did my laundry, I edited the vlog, and I've already uploaded it, but it will be um, shown tomorrow. Okay, so to answer those comments, first is about the length of my video. It was too long. Okay, so if you guys will go to my YouTube channel, that's uh, the title is Korean Visa Approved with just 4K in the bank. It was 40 minutes long. <laughs> it was really long longer than a Netflix episode it's like a Korean drama episode and I admit it was really long because I think I was overwhelmed I uploaded it I filmed it right away right when I took or when I got my passport with the visa and I couldn't believe that I that my visa has been approved so i think i was so overwhelmed and i overshared details like my background even my first visa application attempt and my job i shared lots of details because i thought okay sorry about that i shared lots of details because i thought they're important and that people should not miss those details because if i share information and some details are lacking I, I thought it would affect their visa application so yeah it was too long also I was speaking English because I have viewers from other countries if you are a YouTube creator you can see that um, you have viewers from other countries I have viewers from Singapore US Indonesia in um, Korea and yeah I, my Korean students most of my Korean students are also subscribed to my channel so I'm speaking in English for them because they usually tell me that they don't understand when I speak Tagalog so <laughs> no hate. Although, I kind of not understand why Filipinos are always reacting negatively when a Filipino is speaking in English. I mean, we grew up speaking in English. We learned English since we were kinder or grade one. And I mean, it doesn't matter if your accent is not American accent or British accent because we are non-native speakers. We are Asian people, but we should be proud of ourselves that we can speak English. Our grammar might have some error or lapses, but we can speak English better than other countries or than other people. So. I mean, I think that's one of the reasons why Filipinos are so afraid to speak or practice speaking English because they know people are going to watch them or people are going to point their mistakes. So that's why. Anyway, I'm still speaking in English, so I'm not affected and I'm not going to um, 
stop speaking in English just because of those comments. Speaking English in a vlog um, has pros and cons. Like, um, your video can be more international and more people from other countries can watch it if you speak English. Though in the Philippines, I noticed that more, um, uh, most vloggers who speak in Tagalog have more subscribers than those who speak in English. But I am sticking to speaking in English except if I just want to or feel like speaking Tagalog. For example, the Philippine immigration vlog, I spoke Tagalog there because it's for Filipinos. So anyway, let's eat. Mm. This noodles was really made to be paired with egg because the egg is coating the spiciness and all the unwanted taste not really unwanted but other taste so it's it has become so creamy it's almost like carbonara anyway another bite of chicken mm. It's my first time to eat soy chicken at Banchan. I don't think I like it. I lost my hair tie so I couldn't tie my hair, sorry. I'm gonna read more negative comments. I'll just finish this chicken. I got this chicken through Food Panda delivery. I shared my promo code on my page. I am the girl who travels on Facebook. I will share it in the description box too. Next comment. Sana direct to the point ka po. Nakaka bored po grabe. And nakakalamya ng pananalita mo. Talk naturally. Sorry po. Masyadong okay na hindi naman bagay. Okay, I already answered that. The next comment is from the Oracle. He said, I just don't understand why Pinoy or Pinay, Pinoy slash Pinay pronounce visa as visa. Actually, I posted this comment on my Facebook and I actually work as an English teacher and all my English teacher friends commented that it's right and actually if you're gonna check the dictionary visa is the right pronunciation okay so if I need to explain why it's because it's in the middle of two vowels which is I and A so Z will become or S will become Z okay next comment from M Jacobs next time see I'm in time frame medyo nakaka boring ang haba masyado same LD um, from LD te pwede Tagalog na lang much appreciated I think Filipinos really have a problem with the people who are speaking English. Okay, so this next vlog is Romantic Baboy vs. Samgib Salamat video. And Perry and Barry commented, changing channels, pangit ng video. Christine commented, Ate, pakiayos naman focus, nakakahilo, wag ipili. And Russell Donor commented, Imbis na ipakita mo pag bumiyamot eh, ipakita mo na lang siguro ano yung mga nasa grill. So in English, he wanted me to show that instead of showing my mouth chewing food, I should be showing the grill. I don't know, but I've watched lots of mukbangs, Korean-American, lots of mukbangs. They're all showing their mouth. Even some of them are just showing their mouth and the food, nothing else, not their face. So, I think he just hates my face. Anyway. Next comment. 
from Harold Rabbit. Best. Mas malakas pa yung background music mo kaysa sa bosses mo. Wala ko nating diyan sa mga sinasabi mo. And again, from Perry and Berry, he commented, ganda ng nose ni ate. He's pointing out my nose. Sarcastically, he said, it's beautiful. So I checked his Instagram because his YouTube profile picture is his Instagram account. He is like he's asking people to follow him. So I checked his Instagram account and his nose isn't that beautiful too. So who are you to point my nose out? So anyway. Uh, well, I don't really feel triggered or angry with these comments because I already know that people will be commenting whatever they want on my channel ever since I started my channel. I already accepted that I'll be a public figure because it's social media and people who have no pictures on their accounts or maybe they just have like poster accounts can comment or dislike my videos so I don't really feel anything about it and I'm just answering these comments now because I think the other day my brother talked to me about negative comments on my YouTube because he's one of my um, avid supporters of my YouTube account he's um, on the watch of how many subscribers do I have now and of um, if I have a new video out he also read some comments so he talked to me and he told me that uh, you should not answer negative comments anymore and I explained to him that it's okay that I answer negative comments because the more the comments there are on my video the more my video will come up in the search bar something like that it's so I mean, good or bad comments, it's affecting my channel. Well, anyway, another bite. Mm. It's too sour. By the way, guys, this is not as spicy. Sorry again. This is not as spicy as the fire noodles, but it's still spicy. So I'm not telling it's not spicy. It is spicy. And I'm just gonna finish this. I might not be able to finish the chicken, and I'm gonna end this mukbang because my mom is waiting for me. A bite of chicken. Is this the spicy one? Anyway. Anyway, how many times did I say anyway in this vlog? Another anyway. If you guys have any suggestion of um, what kind of vlog should I do or any constructive criticism or comments, just feel free to comment below. Honestly, I'm okay with any comments. I'm not, I'm not really affected. I have tons of good comments on my vlog. So I guess I cannot really say that I'm not affected by any comments because the positive comments are really inspiring me to do more. And I'm kind of getting the feeling that oh other people are getting help or yeah, getting help from my videos. Especially level tips. My most viewed um, the video is the PH Immigration. It has like almost 30,000 views now. So, 
at least I did something good. This. I think Bonchon was in a hurry. This was from Bonchon Galleria. And I can still see some red red parts. It's not well done. To be honest guys, my camera has already paused twice because I don't have enough memory. So I had to delete some videos. But anyway, I only have like a bite left here and I'll be ending the vlog. Finished! Okay, so I think that'll be all for this mukbang. I hope you enjoyed. Thank you for watching. And if you want me to do more mukbang vlogs, just comment down what you want me to eat. Okay, I'll see you in the next vlog. Bye!